Is Piosava dead? With the new GTO Wizard AI release, is Piosava's time finally up? Well, let's take a step back and look at what we're currently working with in terms of poker solvers. Which solver is the best to work with isn't the same for everyone. It heavily depends on where you are in your journey, what you prioritize and also what your budget is. If you simply want the best option out there, no matter the price, your choice will be different than if you're just starting out with solver work and want to test the water first. For this video, we'll compare the three most popular solvers, which are also the ones which I have used the most, PO Solver, GTO Plus and GTO Wizard. With the latter being split into the regular GTO Wizard and the new GTO Wizard AI. With these programs, we're also only looking at heads-up post-flop solvers, so no multi-way or pre-flop solvers. And while most concepts can be applied to tournaments as well, this video will focus on using them for cash games. The first category to compare will be accuracy. How reliable are the solver's results? The difficulty with objectively measuring this is that you would need to know what the equilibrium strategy of any spot is beforehand. But the only source we have for those are solvers themselves. An alternative would be to have bots built on each of the solvers and let them play against each other and see which wins over a few million hands. But since I cannot do that, the only choice I have left is to compare each of the solvers results to each other and see if there are any noticeable differences. So we'll recreate a simple simulation of a hijack open and a big blind call on the Queen 10 7 rainbow flop in PO Solver, GTO Plus and GTO Wizard AI and compare the results. The regular GTO Wizard will be left out here because we can't recreate a tree there as they are already pre-solved. Solving to a 0.5% accuracy in PO Solver and GTO Plus, we do see quite the similar results. We have a small amount of big bets and the 31% part C bet as the main size. Frequencies are a little different, but the types of hands that like to check for example are basically the same, mostly being ace highs, second and lower pairs. When we look at GTO Wizard, we do see that there is basically no checking range. Wondering why there was a difference, I let both sims on the other solvers run a longer time to reach a more accurate result. And after half an hour on each of them, both PO Solver and GTO Plus also showed a solution with no checking range. So apparently GTO Wizard's solutions have been solved to a pretty high accuracy. Going through some of the notes, we can also see that results between all three solvers are very similar. which I think is a good enough reason to trust the results of all of them. Next, we have the speed of the solvers. Comparing how long each of them took to deliver us the results, we can see that this sim in PO Solver took around 6 minutes on my i7 2.6 GHz laptop with 16GB of RAM and 12 cores. GTO Plus is in the same ballpark, but a little slower with 6.5 minutes. GTO Wizard, however, knocks it out of the park and delivers in less than 4 seconds. And even though we didn't test it with this sim, we know that the regular GTO Wizard also delivers within seconds, as the solutions are already pre-solved and only need to be recalled from their server. Help! Also, the versatility of these solvers is important for working with them. How much can you actually do and how much data can you get out of them? Well, Pure Solver is doing a great job with this as you can insert and modify preflop ranges and all bet sizes. You can export aggregated reports which let you see strategies for various flops, turns and rivers. You can resolve subtrees on turns and rivers of a simulation to modify faster and more accurately. And it includes probably the most powerful feature, node locking which lets you insert an opponent's suboptimal play and receive the best counter strategy to exploit it. With the update to PO Solver 2, this feature got even better, which makes PO Solver not only the best solver for node locking, but also in terms of versatility. GTO Plus is also doing a good job. 
also allowing the input and modification of preflop ranges and bed sizes, you can explore almost anything you want. It also lets you view aggregated reports, but only for the flop at this point in time. Subtrees are also possible, which is great, as well as node locking. However, the node locking in GTO Plus is quite a lot more basic than in PO Solver. Much less versatile is GTO Wizard. With all solutions being pre-solved, there is no way to input or modify preflop ranges or bed sizes. You do get to use aggregated reports, which are awesome, and we'll get to that point in the next category. Subtrees aren't necessary, because the simulations are accessible in no time anyway, and oh yeah, you cannot change anything anyway. Which also means you cannot node lock, which is unfortunate. But that was only the regular GTO wizard. With GTO wizard AI, you do get to insert and modify preflop ranges and choose your own bed sizes. You can also change them on any node at any time you want, which is basically the same as creating a subtree. Reports are not possible yet, even though they have been announced to be added in the future. However, if you have access to the GTO Wizard AI tier, you also have access to the regular GTO Wizard tier, which does have reports for every single flop, turn and river. Yes, you don't get the reports for the exact individual bed sizes and preflop ranges you inserted, but there are so many options in the regular one anyway, that I wouldn't count this as a big downside. Node locking isn't possible however, which is a negative. It is announced to be added in the future as well though, which would be great. Besides the factor of which data the solvers can deliver, it is also important how the data is delivered. For everyday use, the presentation of the data and how easy it is to get it plays a big role. So while PeerSolver does an awesome job of offering a bunch of data, its presentation is kind of meh. I don't want to go too much into optics because that's very subjective, so I won't include it in the ranking. But even though I have been used to working with PeerSolver for many years, trying to put myself into someone else, I can't help but think it must be pretty deterrent for a new user who first takes a look at this interface. GTO Plus looks a little better, but in my opinion GTO Wizard is just much more up to date with the looks of the software. But well, you'll have to be the judge for that yourself. What's more objective is how easy it is to get the data we talked about in the previous category. The default matrix in PO Solver is fine, but you have to go to a new menu to see hand classes for example, which is done a little better in GTO Plus. Here you just have everything within sight at first glance. The node locking works great in my opinion, again PO Solver making it easier to implement more options than GTO Plus, which is also making it easy to handle though. But when it comes to aggregated reports, PO is simply a pain in the ass. For flops, you have to insert a subset from somewhere else and then run every simulation which takes a ton of time. And even for turns and rivers, you first need to export the data, open it up in Excel, just to get this. So you need to sort it first and can then start to work with the data. No bueno. GTO Plus is better, because even though you of course need to run the simulations for various flops too, at least you get the data shown within the software, organized and ready to be worked with. Compared to that, GTO Wizard is a treat, as you can access the reports with one single click. And since everything is pre-calculated, it's there instantly. Being able to see every strategically different flop and sorting and filtering them by an enormous number of options makes GTO Wizard easily the best solver in terms of presentation of the data. Which brings us to the last category, the price. Pure Solver starts at 249 and has its highest version at a 1099 one-time fee. The difference is basically being scriptability, so solving multiple flops, the support for more cores, but also an additional preflop solver that comes with the most expensive version. GTO Plus is the cheapest solution with only a $75 one-time fee. And GTO Wizard comes with a subscription model, including a $35, a $69 and a $109 monthly option. So which should you get? Well, if you're just starting out with solvers and don't want to spend more than necessary on a solver, 
GTO Plus is the no-brainer choice for you. At $75, it is an absolute steal, basically lacking no features that are must-haves. With GTO Plus, you really can't make a mistake and you get it for an extremely fair price. On the other side of the spectrum, if you simply want the best solver and don't have a budget, what should you get? While I've been using Pure Solver for years, which offers everything you want and need in a solver, I now think GTO Wizard AI is simply the best program you can get. It's incredibly fast and contrary to the regular GTO Wizard, you can now play with preflop ranges and insert your own bet sizes. It also has the additional option to give you the best single bet size on any street, which none of the other solvers offer and which is awesome to simplify your game trees. Its only real downside is the lack of the node locking option. If you can live without that or wait until it's implemented, I believe that GTO Wizard is simply the best option as a solver. One more concern is the potential abuse of the software by using it as an RTA, which is something that should be taken very seriously. And even though their recently published updates about security probably cannot prevent it completely, it does at least seem to me that they view it as a high priority. So what about Pio Solvo? Is it time to let go? Well, I wouldn't necessarily put it like that. If node locking and exploring exploit strategies against opponents is your primary focus, Pio Solver is simply the best choice. Also, even though GTO Plus is a better bang for the buck, Pio Solver is still the better product overall. So if you don't want to spend more than 100 bucks a month on GTO Wizard AI, there's definitely nothing wrong with still using it. I just don't see a great reason to buy it as a new user, when GTO Plus is cheaper and GTO Wizard AI is better. However, as important as choosing the right solver is, how you work with it is way more important. Simply trying to copy GTO outputs will likely do you more harm than good. Instead, you want to find ways to do less memorizing and more understanding. To help you with that, I have just released a video course about how to use solvers effectively which this video is a part of. Click on the link below to access a deep dive through PO Solver, GTO Plus and GTO Wizard in which I show you all the before mentioned features in detail and how you can work with them to become a better player. And if you want to watch me use GTO Wizard AI to explore the work life of an ultra high stakes crusher, this video will be exactly for you.